So guys, it's your boy Dancing right here, and this is my final review of 91 Days Episode 12. This ending, dude, like, you can love it or you can hate it. But it's the way that it was presented that it was really fucking good. Like, the entire Mafia business is going down. Like, the prohibition is, like, it's coming. So, it, so, it really doesn't even matter. It will, it will, the Glacius are the real last Mafia group in the town. Because the prohibition arc is ending. So, it doesn't even matter anymore. So, win or lose, they're still going to lose. And this episode, it does a really good job with, with the build-up and the fact that, you know, these characters, they, they have done wrongs. Both Neto and Angelo have done wrongs in their past and in their lives. And... It doesn't even matter if you want to have revenge. Like, revenge, of course, it's always proven that, that revenge will get you nowhere in life. It's a fucking demon that will burn the, your soul into ash. And, what, like, I like how, like, his whole plan was just revenge. He didn't plan after that. He didn't, Angelo didn't, like, Angelo just planned this. He didn't plan what happened after that. He never planned it. Because he planned to, you know, go into the family, kill everybody, and, yeah. Even turning his best friend, Cortado, into the mix, and hit, and Angela having to kill him in the end. Like, both of these characters, Neto and Angela, have lost everything in their lives. Everything. They both are c completely alone, but have each other. And so you have one last brother ride. And we get to know the fact that Angel didn't really want to kill Neto in the end. Because, you know, he's like a brother to him. Like, you have to admit, he's like a brother to him. Even if that was kind of like a tactical thing for Angelo to do. But in their hearts of heart, they know that they are both brothers and they are both alone in this world. And what you, and what you, and what you can take away from this ending is this opening ending. The Gus's guy was following him. The, the, the entire episode, he was following him. He fought. He followed him into the fucking uh, cafe. He followed him up the road. This guy was following him in the woods. He wanted to see if Angelo would kill Neto. And this is how I interpret. What's your predicted with the ending? My thoughts are that, like, when Neto and Angelo go out, out to the ocean, Neto picks up the gun, shoots Angelo, and then rides off, knowing that his deed will, you know, that his horrible deed will be punished because, because. You know, they were falling to him. And that's one way to perceive it, as Neto dies sort of after that. It's another theory that, like, Neto pushed Angelo into the water. That's uh, because that's why the footsteps end. But you can also interpret uh, You can also uh, will, will interpret that ending. That ending at the ocean. That's like a, this is where their lives went. Neto's life was a little bit more past Angelo, but he slowly followed after him. And the only one left alive, and they're both dead. It, well, if, if Neto and Angelo are both really dead, then the only one who actually survived this massacre was that one guy. Who was driving them? Who they pulled <laughs> after his daughter's car? Well, his daughter's car. But he was the only one who actually survived. Which is like a thing. Because maybe they both knew. Maybe they both knew that they were going to die. That's why Neto killed Angelo. 
and then after so much that the guys follow him, but that's just gets to follow him and kill Nero. That's why I get that smile on the face at the end. Maybe. But I like like the ending. Like it really, you know, it shocked me because I knew that like, at, well, like the rate where this is going, it wasn't going to go. It, it wasn't going to have a good ending. It wasn't going to have a good ending. It, it wasn't going to have a good ending. It, it wasn't. But, 91 Days, I I truly enjoyed it. I watched it every single week. Except for that recap episode. But, really good series with some, with some animation problems. But, but everything else is still good. They're, they're awesome looking for characters in this series. And again, revenge is not the answer for everything else, but yeah. Man, I'm gonna miss this anime. I hope they come out with the thing about the author about like what happened after that scene. Like a, a well, in a book somewhere, a light novel, and an interview. Something. We need to have something because this is like a Cowboy Bebop ending, even though I haven't, you know, I haven't really finished Cowboy Bebop, but I've been spoiling the ending, but yeah. This ending can make it or break it, but you got to decide the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day now we got to live. Before I end this review, if you have a, like, I would... I would solely recommend this anime to anyone who has to watch anime or who is just getting into anime. Because this is the really good. This anime is an example of how anime can get serious without fan service. This is an anime that can have you emo you know, have you invested, have a and have like art hero main character, and have this god <laughs> ending. So yeah, I'm gonna end this review here. It's been your boy the Destiny Fight and I hope you enjoy. Bye.